We're asked to sketch a graph of the function f of theta equals negative two cosine of the quantity theta minus pi over four plus one. Let's begin by determining the values of a, b, d, and c of the function in this form, which will indicate the transformation of the given function. Well, first notice a is equal to negative two, and the amplitude is equal to the absolute value of a, and therefore the amplitude is equal to the absolute value of negative two, which is positive two. However, because a is negative, we are going to have a reflection across the midline, so let's indicate this. Next we have cosine of b times the quantity x minus d, where x is the variable, and for our function we have cosine of the quantity theta minus pi over four, where theta is the variable, and therefore b is equal to one, and the period is equal to two pi divided by b. Since b equals one, the period is two pi divided by one, which is just two pi. Next, d is equal to positive pi over four, because we determine the value of d in this form when we have subtraction. So because d is equal to positive pi over four, we have a phase shift, a horizontal shift, of right pi over four radians. And then finally, c is equal to positive one, because c is equal to positive one, we have a vertical shift of up one unit. Because the vertical shift is up one unit, the midline is no longer the x-axis or y equals zero, it is y equals one. And now let's graph the given function. Let's first graph the midline of y equals one. Because the amplitude is positive two, the maximum function value is going to be one plus two or three and the minimum function value is going to be one minus two, which is negative one. Next, we have a phase shift of right pi over four units. When graphing the basic cosine function, we normally start along the y-axis. In this case, though, because we have a shift of right pi over four units, we will graph one period of the given function starting at x equals pi over four, which is here. And then the period is equal to two pi radians, two pi plus pi over four equals two and one fourth pi radians, or nine fourths pi radians, and therefore we'll graph one period of the given function from pi over four radians to nine pi over four radians, which is here. When graphing the cosine function over one period, we divide the period into four equal subintervals. So let's go ahead and do that. When graphing the basic cosine function, the pattern is maximum, midline, minimum, midline, and maximum. But because A is negative, we have a reflection across the midline, and therefore the new pattern is going to be, which means for our function, the pattern is going to be minimum, midline, maximum, midline, and minimum. So the first point we'll plot for our function will be the minimum of negative one at pi over four. Next will be at the midline, and then the maximum of three, and then the midline, and then the minimum of negative one. Which means the graph of the given function will look something like this. And then we can copy and paste this graph over a larger interval, or just follow the pattern. Working our way to the left, we will be at the midline here, and then the next point off the graph would be a maximum. So to the left, the graph would look something like this. And then on the right side, the next point would be at the midline somewhere over here, and therefore the graph continues in this direction like this. So this is the graph of the given function. To graph this online using our graphing tools, because we have a cosine function, I would select this graphing tool here, or we can just click on a minimum and a maximum, or a maximum and then a minimum, and the function will be graphed. So for example, we can select this graphing tool, and then click on this minimum, and then this maximum, and the function will be graphed correctly. I hope you found this helpful.